Good morning, George Logic here. Today is Thursday, January 31st, 2019, and we have another cold morning. Uh, a little bit ago it was 45 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, and uh, it's warmed up a bit out there. It's around uh, minus 42 at the moment, Fahrenheit. I'm going to show you uh, in this video, we're going to do a little more of the uh, throwing water out on the roof, but I'm going to show you how inaccurate the infrared digital thermometer can be when you're starting to get temperatures this low. Uh, the working temperature of the digital thermometer is uh, calibrated down to uh, minus 40 degrees, and even there it can be plus minus uh, three, four degrees Celsius, uh, which is uh, around uh, seven degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so I'll show you that. I have a bulb thermometer out, outside, a uh, mercury thermometer, and that's a lot more accurate than the uh, dig uh, one of these cheap digital infrared thermometers. Uh, if you had a uh, more expensive thermometer, uh, it'd be much more accurate over a wider temperature range. Um, but those cost generally several thousand dollars with the um, imaging displays along with them. Now, I'm going to show you something uh, kind of fun to do when it gets this cold. Is you can take a balloon and fill it with water. Create yourself a water balloon and set it outside and let it freeze. But don't let it freeze overnight where it would become a solid block of ice. What you do is you leave it outside for about four hours and the balloon will freeze from the outside in uh, as a a bucket of water or a water balloon freezes. It freezes from the outside surface to the inside surface. So if you stop the process uh, after it's uh, frozen in about a half an inch and then pop a hole in it, you can drain the rest of the water out and have yourself a shell, um, a, a spherical uh, shell of ice that you could use for uh, Many, other, many purposes are fun for parties uh, where you could uh, create uh, ice crystal bowls for holding uh, drinks or um, you know fruit or something like that. Um, so, or you can put lights in them at nighttime, uh, put them out on a railing, put some candles in. You could uh, use uh, food coloring, color the water, have a lot of different color uh, uh, lights, uh, ice crystal lights, and uh, I'll show you how uh, you can do that uh, in this sort of cold weather. Uh, before I get started on that, uh, for those of you that have been following uh, my gyroscope project along, I'm just going to show you where I'm at with that uh, here just real briefly. Here is the gyroscope, got uh, two 16 inch wheels and a suspension in the center. There will be a torsion spring here that will uh, hold the uh, gyroscope in place. And I'm pretty much done with the wheels. The outer surface of the wheels have been um, wrapped in um, about four pounds of copper wire. You can see the wires coming out here uh, on both sides in addition to uh, the aluminum frame wheels. And over the last few weeks what I've been doing is lacquering the outside. There's uh, close to 27 coats of lacquer on each wheel that um, holds all the wire in place so that they uh, don't become unwound and it gives it a nice look. Um, it's uh, kind of a plastic look on the uh, rims. And 
what I need to do now is disassemble this and take the bearings out and um, polish the bearings and put new uh, oil and grease in so it's to get roughness out of the um, spin of the, as the wheels rotate and then once I um, get that done then I mount the two motors on here motor drives um, what I've done here is I've uh, turned down the uh, hubs on the wheels for the drive belts so there's a little bit of a concaveness to it so that the drive belt doesn't wander uh, it'll stay put and there'll be two motors mounted on here and a battery pack uh, for driving the wheels and then some electronics to phase lock the motors together so that the wheels precisely turn at the uh, same angular velocity so you can see that can uh, have the wheels turning and then once uh, this thing is spun up it should remain fixed in space with its axis as the world earth turns beneath it this is much better than these little tight gyros that you buy for a couple hundred dollars this will be a much more precise much more accurate and won't have the uh, precession problems that those uh, little toy gyros have. So that's where I'm at on this project. I'm now getting the water balloons ready to take outside. I have two of them filled with uh, water here in the uh, kitchen sink. And I've learned uh, over the years in doing this that it can be rather tricky transporting these things because the skin on the balloon is fairly tight and it's easy uh, to rupture and you definitely don't want it rupturing while you're carrying these things outside so the best way to do it is you can see I've uh, filled the balloons with a towel underneath so you can uh, basically then use the towel as a uh, carrying cradle for example see is you can put the ends together here and to uh, transport so you can lift it up and it's uh, the force is evenly distributed over the bottom of uh, the balloon so it's not likely to rupture that way so I'll be taking these outside it's about 6 30 in the morning right now and let these uh, start again this is uh, January 31st it's 8 30 in the morning measuring some temperatures out here on my deck at the table looking at uh, my bulb thermometer a bit ago it was showing minus 44 it's now showing minus 42 Fahrenheit I also have my thermistor array out here. There's five thermistors. This is the uh, temperature array that I use for measuring temperatures out on the lake ice on my uh, survey. And I have the two balloons out here. They're uh, freezing. And this one here. bring them in soon <clears throat> take one look at the temperature here one last time Hold that.
Now I use the digital thermometer and we can see that at these temperatures it's really not accurate. It's registering minus 45.6 centigrade, minus 50 Fahrenheit. It's almost 10 degrees Fahrenheit off. Wanted to show that that you really can't rely on these uh, infrared thermometers that much unless you have a really expensive one in the thousands of dollars uh, price range. Um, these tend to lose calibration when you get down this low in temperature. This one's uh, rated to only be calibrated to minus 40. And then you also have problems with emissiv emissivity of uh, the surfaces at which the uh, temperature is being taken uh, with this infrared. The bulb thermometers are uh, much more reliable. That's showing Fahrenheit on the balloon and here at the temperature sensor for the bulb thermometer yeah it's minus 50 according to the digital thermometer but with the bulb thermometer about minus 40 so it's off considerably on uh, centigrade it's showing minus 43 and again uh, minus 40 Fahrenheit is the same as minus 40 centigrade so it's off about three and a half degrees centigrade it isn't too bad um, that's within uh, the specs at minus 40 so now we'll go and do uh, a few more uh, potfuls of water off the roof and uh, then we'll look at the uh, balloons. Okay, going to uh, throw more couple. <clears throat> going to throw a couple more pots of water out. And this is Thursday, January thirty-one. Here we go. Another one here. Well, that went pretty well. You can see a little change from yesterday. Got a couple pair of old socks. I put them on Con's feet. He is having real trouble with his paws. And uh, using these as uh, booties seems to uh, do the trick. He's a lot happier. And he's not lifting his paws up like he used to. So it seems to be helping him. Looks a little strange, doesn't it, Con? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good boy. Beautiful day out. Nice and sunny. I'm gonna go down the lake and take a look at the. Uh, ice out there. We'll just do a few minutes of shooting down there and we'll see uh, if we can still see uh, the six mile target that I put up last year. Hey there Con. Hey Con, come here. Hey, good boy. Uh, 
and I are headed down to the lake. <laughs> oh, he seems so happy with those booties on. He's been running all over in the woods, and his feet aren't getting cold like they used to, and I think he's understanding that. See, I've got a bunch of barrels down here. I'm gonna stack them up to make a uh, target to look at from the distance to uh, show that things disappear from the bottom up over the, on the curve of the earth. But we're not gonna be able to see anything in the distance. It's real foggy out there. I can't even make out the target there on Franzen Island. Now we see fish houses out on the ice. Looking out towards Canada, across the bay. I'll go up to the house now and we'll look at the uh, balloons with the uh, water in it. Now that they're froze, should be frozen, good. All right, Con. Let's go back to the house, Con. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Con. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Let's go. Rough. Come on. Watch the play. Come on, let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, you want me to throw the stick, huh, Con? All right, come on. Yeah, it's warming up a little bit. See where it minus uh, 36 Fahrenheit. Now I'll bring the uh, balloons in, and uh, we'll uh, I'll show you uh, how cool this. Just went outside and got the first of the globes. 
or the uh, frozen water balloons you can see here now what we do is remove the water balloon skin and just kind of keep the surface see and it just comes off and oh you see have a nice globe here it's been sitting outside for about four hours and uh, we now have a shell you can put a light in there or use this for a party put some fruit or a drink in here uh, like uh, a wine or whiskey drink uh, I use it as a uh, uh, basin for uh, fruit juice or uh, for uh, your drinks to keep them cold <clears throat> now we'll go and get the uh, other globe okay now here's the second one water on this you don't want to put too much water at one time because it fractures the thermal shock will fracture the, uh, the globe inside here with the uh, air bubble so all we have to do is pop a hole in there and one way to do it is to take a soldering iron and drill a hole like that and then we just pour the water out I'll just let it drain <clears throat> the water is now drained out so what you could do you can see there's a little hole here you could insert a LED light and have this uh, glowing if you wanted different colors you could add food coloring to the water that you put in the balloon but anyway this is all to have fun when it's cold You can make uh, tree ornaments this way to hang outside in the winter time. You can uh, freeze uh, a little cord to it to hang from the trees. So that's uh, one of the things that we do up here <laughs> for amusement. And then we've got this other one here, of course. Oh man, it's slippery. <laughs> Can't get a grip on it. <clears throat> 